Hello and welcome back to Nick's Hobbies and Interests. This is another video for my video game archive. This is the Halo 5 Guardians Limited Collector's Edition. I got lucky picking this up. Now I don't know what the game's like, I've never played it. But yeah, in my local town, local little cash generator had this on display. I saw it, it was about 60, 70 quid. And I thought, yeah, I'm gonna buy that. We're gonna start with the steel book inside. This one right here, the one with the, in my opinion, the division logo on it. It's obviously not for copyright reasons, but yeah. The first thing I'm going to address right away is, again, this is another one where you just get the game in a digital format. What happened to the physical copies? I mean, how much does it cost to just manufacture another copy, a physical copy of the game on a disc? Come on. This happened with Horizon Forbidden West, and now I've picked this up, and yeah, no physical copy of the game, just a dig digital download. What is going on? Okay, rant over. Let's move on, shall we? This little green packet right here. Before we get to it, actually, there's one other thing that's kind of cool, but I'm not also going to assemble it, purely because, if I'm honest, I'd rather leave it for somebody else. And that is a 3D laser cut model that you can assemble. I've got a time skip ahead here, guys, just because you know you're only going to be reading that page. Let's jump to this little thing. I think is this meant to be something from the game because it's uh, like an operation order status or something like that, as you can read there. Operation order, authentication, etc. They're kind of cool. Yeah. We'll move on to these. They're like playing cards, if I'm honest. I'm going to take a wild guess that every character here on each of these cards is a main character from the video game. I do have an Xbox, but the last time I actually played Halo was a long time ago, and it was in co-op. I used to fly, fly around in that hover bike or craft um i think it was called a ghost there was a map in particular where i used to like flying around and zooming around and being shot at but trying to evade being shot at and uh, there was like a beach area and a little outpost as well honestly can't recall the map's name or whereabouts it is in which game but yeah been a while anyway let's move on to the main attraction shall we the statue now this does have a magnetic base, I'm going to do my best to demonstrate it working, but it doesn't really look like it does it, it looks more like I'm pushing it against it. Be aware, if you are keen to buy this, the magnets are only located in the base, not the archway. So when joining the two together, the top where the arch is, is always going to be loose and the weaker part of this entire statue. I say statue, I guess it's also a diorama, it does come with a base and some surroundings, so yeah, you could say diorama instead. As this is quite big and it's taking up a lot of space in the light box, I did only take more still shots than anything else, so yeah, I'm just going to run run you through them all, try and show it off the best I can. Naturally, I couldn't do any unboxing on camera because the light box was too small to actually unbox this live or even recorded so yeah i had to actually unbox it separately off camera the statue is a good size and a good weight what i like is the shape of it i know that might sound odd but it's actually a nice sort of rectangle shape it will be easy to locate and find a good position on your shelf to house this piece another cool feature which i probably didn't mention earlier is the figure does come with an alternative face, uh, an alternative headpiece. Very easy to basically pop on and off, I will show you shortly. We do get a couple of other additional pieces. I assume this piece in particular goes on the bottom as it's got the soft padding basically to keep something sturdy. And then we have, I think, another scenic item and that will 
be placed somewhere, I guess, on the statue itself. But I'm unsure where, to be fair. So it's just going to go back in this little compartment and be basically tucked away again. We'll have a couple more still shots now from the back. I think there's definitely one cool one, and that's as if you're running up behind them as well. Let's say you're about to take a jump. Like when they do, like I think it's the seals, they jump out of a plane, don't they, into the ocean. Something like that. Uh, it's this shot here. I really like that. The pose they're in, the position they've been sort of well, placed in, I think is really cool. Like you say, it is an action pose as if you are going through an archway out of a door, maybe dropping out of a helicopter. It is that kind of initial, you know, combat pose, isn't it? You've just landed or you're just exposed to the elements and about to basically engage in combat. I really like it. If it was a Call of Duty game, this is what I'd expect, but instead of an archway uh, from a sci-fi universe, I would expect it to be the likes of a helicopter of some kind. But anyway, I was going to show you the head sculpt. Let's switch this out, shall we? Excuse my long blonde hair. The way I'm filming this, my head is literally just behind the camera. So every time I land forward, my hair just gets in the way. I need a haircut big time. It is easy enough to do, just give it a little wiggle and it will, the head piece will just pop back on as seen right there. I didn't want to cut it because the moment you see people are cutting their videos, you know something's more challenging behind the scenes. So that's why I tried to do it all in one go. But here, a few more still shots with the new headpiece or the secondary headpiece, the additional headpiece. I can't really review this um, as a game because naturally I have not played the game. But as a statue review, I'd have to say it's a five. It's a very cool statue, one you'd be eye-catching on display. It's a good size, good weight, cool poses. And if it made someone who doesn't play Halo actually pick it up, either I'm a fool or, in my honest opinion, and do please forgive the language, I don't curse often on my channel. I think this is even the first time. But in my opinion, it is a fucking cool statue. I truly cannot decide whether to keep it or let it go. A real Halo fan will appreciate this, I'm sure. Whether the game's crap or if it's brilliant, I'm not sure. But if I can appreciate the statue, if I think this is awesome, surely somebody else is going to love it even more than me. So I really can't decide. If there's a lot of interest and people are really wanting to get their hands on this, I'll let it go because it really seems unfair. Otherwise, I'm tempted to keep it and put it somewhere. I'm not sure where. I'm running out of space big time. But if I can do this attic conversion and basically expand my storage and also have a lot of stuff a lot more stuff on display um yeah I'll, I'll hopefully find a home for it but otherwise yeah i'll um end up selling it so yeah if there's interest i might possibly let it go i don't know what its true value is without doing any research but i know what i picked it up for and as long as somebody paid for shipping i'd let it go for what i paid for it i think I forget whether it was 60 or 70 pounds but honestly i looked at the price and saw the statue was like yeah I'm, I'm gonna buy that i have wrapped it all back up for now whilst it's going back in storage until i can find a home for it or until i sell it uh yeah it's all wrapped back up in its box but yeah as it goes yeah five out of five really think it's awesome and yeah i can't speak for the game so don't ask me to but with that being said guys this is the end of the video so if you got this far, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, like I say, first Xbox Collector's Edition I've done. Um, if you'd like to see more video game Collector's Edition uh, unboxing or reviews, let me know. I'll see what I can do. But yeah, as always, uh, like, share, subscribe, ring the bell if you wish, comment below, and take care.